Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I am back with another Mismatch Monday. Yes, we're going to start Mismatch Monday up again. And today, it's going to be a serious mismatch with the 1920 Indians from the 1920... Um, Diamond Gem set, taking on the 1972 Rangers. So, the Rangers, I don't offhand remember what their record was. Uh, they, um, I think they won in the 50s. You know, their win total was in the 50s, I think. And uh, the uh, 1920 Indians... Well, let's see. They don't in the. They were 98 and 56. So, a 98 win team taking on a team that was in the 50s or 60s for wins. That's a serious mismatch. I will be going with the Indians lineup from the 1920 uh, Diamond Gems against a uh, left handed pitcher because the Rangers will be sending Mike Paul to the mound. Now, Mike Paul was actually a pretty good pitcher in 1972. He was 8-9 and nine with a 2.17 earned run average in 20 starts. So, he might be the lone bright spot because the lineup is terrible. And uh, speaking of lineups, I will mention the lineups as we get to them. We're playing in Arlington Stadium. And uh, the Indians lineup will be Joe Evans leading off and playing left field. Ray Chapman, the shortstop, will bat second. Tris Speaker at center field bats third. Smokey Joe Wood will be the right fielder batting in the cleanup spot. Larry Gardner will be at third base and batting fifth. Bill Wombins Gas will play second base. I don't know how to pronounce his name. If anyone knows how to pronounce it, put it in the, uh, in the uh, comment section. Doc Johnson will bat seventh and play first base. Steve O'Neill will be the catcher, and the pitcher today for the Cleveland Indians will be Stan Kovaleski, and he will be batting ninth. We are using pitcher bat because both of these teams were playing in a season where the pitcher batted. I believe the uh, DH didn't come into effect until 1973 or 74, so the 72 Rangers would have had a pitcher bat going on. So Joe Evans, here's Joe Evans, and he is batting against Mike Paul. And he gets a 6-8 batting right, and that is going to be a pop out to shortstop. Pop out six, he is done, one away. And again, I have my scoreboard out here. You've got the uh, score line, or the uh, inning marker that tells you what inning we're in. So, if you look down and then you look back up, hey, you know where we are. Ray Chapman, who tragically was killed by a beanball from Carl Mays later on in his career. And he gets a 2-6, and that is going to be a walk. So, Chapman is aboard with a walk. That is the first man allowed on by Mike Paul. And with one man on and one man out, you got Tris Speaker. Tris Speaker, great year for him. He batted 388. He gets a 6'8 by a left handed batter, and that's going to be a pop out to first base. So there's two down, and that brings up Smokey Joe Wood. And Smokey Joe Wood gets a 2-8, and that will be a fly ball to left field. So, as great as the 20 Indians were, they got no runs in the first inning. So, let's see if the Rangers can get some runs of their own right off the bat. And the Ranger lineup will be Dave Nelson leading off and playing third base. Elliot Maddox will bat second. He's the center fielder. Toby Harris batting third and at shortstop. Ted Ford bats in the cleanup spot, and he'll be the right fielder. 
Larry Double Eye Bittner will be the first baseman, batting fifth. Dick Billings is the catcher today, batting sixth. Joe Levito will be the left fielder, batting seventh. Lenny Randall will bat eighth and play second base. And Mike Paul bats last. And um, that is, that's, and that's that. And so here are the Rangers, Dave Nelson. And Dave Nelson gets a 6-4 batting right against Kovaleski. And that is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. So he goes out 5-3. There's one down, which gives way to Elliot Maddox. And he gets a 6-2 batting right. And that's going to be a fly ball left field X. The left fielder is a 4, E18. And that is a 19, so 19 and 4, that might just be an out. No, it isn't. It's a single. So uh, Elliot Maddox gets on with a hit. Hit given up by Kovaleski. One on, one out, and um, Toby Hara up. Toby Hara gets a 3-5, and that is going to be a ground ball pitcher B. That's a fielder's choice. And Ted Ford is up. And Ted Ford gets a 6-9 batting right. And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, 6-3. And the Rangers get no runs in the first. And we proceed on to the second inning, where Larry Gardner, Gardner will take some swipes at pitches, offerings from Mike Paul. He gets a 1 8, and that is going to be a single. So Larry Gardner gets himself a single. And he's aboard. That's the first hit allowed by Mike Paul today here in the second inning at the top of the second with Bill Wombins Gas up, and he gets a 1 8. And that is going to be a pop-out to the second baseman. One away. And Doc Johnston. Doc Johnston gets a 1-7 against the lefty. That is going to be a single. So the Indians not really, uh, you know, they're not really tearing the cover off the ball here against Mike Paul, but they do have something going here with one out and two on and Steve O'Neill, the batter, and he gets a 5-4 batting right. Um, yeah, against Paul, and that is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman for the Rangers is a 4-E26, and that is a 3. That's going to be some big-time stuff right there. Three and a four is a single double lastress. So a run will score. There's a runner at third and a runner at first now. And Gardner is the runner that scored. Paul gives up a hit. First run. And, uh, and that brings up Stan Kovaleski. And they're just going to let him hit 3-8. Uh, and that is going to be a single 1-6. to six. Yes, that is a single. So he knocks in a run. Even Kovaleski is getting in on the action. He knocks Doc Johnston in. Second run allowed. And going back to the top of the order, we're flipping the order back to Joe Evans. And he gets a 6-7 batting right, and that's going to be a fly ball to center, two away. Which brings up Ray Chapman. And he gets a 111, which is going to be a um, foul out to third base. So the Rangers do come up with two, or the uh, Indians come up with two runs there in the second inning. And so we got to go get the two for them.
as we proceed to the bottom of the second with the Rangers batting, bringing up Larry Double I Bittner. And he gets a 1 7 against a righty. And that is going to be a fly ball center field. One out. And Dick Billings is the batter. He is the catcher today. He gets a 1 10. That is a foul out to his counterpart. Foul out to the catcher. Which brings up Levito. Joe Levito. Switch hitting Joe Levito. 1 9. And that is going to be a single. So. Joe Levito gets aboard. Kovaleski gives up his second hit of the game. And Lenny Randall. And Lenny Randall gets a 5 5, and he would be batting uh, right, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Kovaleski with the K. And. Uh, that's that for the Rangers in the second. We go to the top of the third inning. 2 nothing, and Tris Speaker is the batter. 388 hitting Tris Speaker in 1920. 4 7 batting left, and that is going to be a single. Speaker's aboard. <clears throat> Fifth hit allowed for Mike Paul, so he is getting hit up despite the fact that he was pretty good that year. Smoky Joe Wood, but this is a good Indians lineup. 6-6 six, six, batting right, and uh, that's going to be a fly ball to left, one away. Which gives way to Larry Gardner. Man on, one out. And he gets a 6-8 batting left. That is going to be a pop-out to shortstop. Or wait a minute. Nope, it's going to be a pop-up to first base. Which brings up Bill Wombensgas. And he gets a 6-9 batting right. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Um, and the shortstop for the Rangers is a 3-E-30. So that's a 12 12 and 3, that's going to be on the uh, air rating, on the 30 air rating. That is a 9. And that is going to be a ground ball double play, but not really a double play. They didn't need that, but it is an out. So he goes out 6-3. And the Indians get no runs in the third inning. We go to the bottom of the third. This is a surprisingly good game here, 2 nothing. Or a team that was so much better than the competition. And Mike Paul, the pitcher, is the batter for the Rangers. He'll bat. It's a 310. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He goes out 6 3 to lead off the, uh, the uh, Rangers third. Dave Nelson is up. Dave Nelson gets a 3-7. That's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He goes out 1-3, two away. And Elliot Maddox. Elliot Maddox gets a 4-4 batting right. And that's going to be a... Um, uh, let's see. Ballpark single? No, it is not. It's going to be a... Uh, fly ball to center field. So we go to the top of the fourth. Top of the fourth, two nothing. Indians up. The batter is Doc Johnston for the Indians. And he gets a 4 8 batting left. Um, let's see. 4-8 batting left, and that's going to be a line out to second base. One away, and the batter is Steve O'Neill. 
Steve O'Neill gets a 212. That is going to be a, let's see, what is he? Steve O'Neill is batting against Paul, who is a lefty. That is a walk. That is the second walk surrendered by Mike Paul, and that brings up the batter. The pitcher is the batter, and they will let him hit again. He got a hit last time. 6-7, six, 6-7 seven, uh, six, seven batting right. That's going to be a fly ball center field. And back to the start of the lineup with Joe Evans. And Joe Evans gets a 6-5 batting right, and that's going to be a fly ball right. And again, the Indians get no runs there. I was expecting the Indians to have some kind of an, uh, you know, an explosion of runs, but that isn't, ha hasn't been the case so far. They're only leading 2-0 here in the bottom of the fourth with Toby Hara up. And he gets a 3-9, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. So he goes 1-3. I mean, the big problem the Rangers are going to have is that their lineup is terrible. Not so much how Paul is going to pitch. Ted Ford is the batter. He gets a 2-4, and that will be a fly ball to right field. And that brings to the plate Larry Bittner. And Larry Bittner is going to get a ground ball first base. And no runs come in for Texas there. We go to the top of the fifth inning. 2 nothing still. The Indians batting. Ray Chapman the batter. He gets a 6-2 batting right. And that is going to be a fly ball to left field. One down quickly, and Tris Speaker is the batter. He gets a 4-8 batting left, and that is going to be a line out to second base. He is, Tris Speaker is one for three on the day, surprisingly. And Smokey Joe Wood is up, and he gets a 4-3 batting right, and that is going to be and out. That is going to be a, uh, that'll be a line out to second base. So no runs again for the Indians. We go to the bottom of the fifth. The Indians should not let the Rangers just hang around. All they need is some guy gets on by a walk or an error, and then the next guy hits a fluke home run, and you got a tie game. Dick Billings is the batter. And he gets a 1-7, and that is going to be a um, that's going to be a fly ball to center field. So there's one down, and giving way to Joe Levito. Joe Levito with a 6-4, he gets a fly ball to left, and that brings up Lenny Randall. Lenny Randall with a 3-6, and he gets a ground ball to shortstop. He goes out 6-3, three, three down quickly again for the Rangers. We go to the top of the sixth. It's still only 2-0, and Larry Gardner is about. And he gets a 5-3, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher, and he is a 4-0. Uh, e but that's a 17, so let's see what that does. Nope, it's going to be an, it's on the air rating and he's a zero, so that's an out. So Gardner goes out one to three. And um, Wombin's gas is up. He gets a four six batting right. And um, that's going to be a. That is going to be a double. So Wombin's gas is on with a, he's on second with a double. Sixth hit allowed for Paul, but I mean, that's six hits and in six innings to a really good Indians lineup. Doc Johnson is the batter. 
he gets a 1-7, <clears throat> and that is going to be a single. So that's a that's a one base single right there. So it moves Wombin's gas over to the third. And now there are runners at the corners. Um, the Rangers will bring the infield in. Steve O'Neill is up. He gets a 110. And uh, that's going to be a uh, ground ball to the pitcher B. And that will be, I believe, they cut the runoff. Let's see what it is. Uh, ground ball B, infield in. The batter is safe and the runner on third is out. So that's what we have right now. Fielder's choice and no run comes in on it. Um, and that is the second out. Yes, that's the second out. And then Kovaleski is the batter. And the infield's back, obviously. 4-7. And uh, against the righty, that's going to be a single to center field. Now, the question is, do the Indians send that runner? Because the runner uh, is not Wombin's gas. He was thrown out. Um, he, uh, that would be Doc Johnston, I suppose. So let's see. Johnston is a running one to 13. They're not going to do it, even though it would extend his. And Joe Evans is the batter. And he gets a 4-8 batting right. And that is going to be a line out to third base. Line out five. So the Indians, they, uh, you know, they, uh, they threaten there in the sixth, but they still don't come up with any runs. And so it is. it remains 2-0. They're letting the Rangers hang around. I don't know about that. I don't think that's a sound strategy. Mike Paul is the batter. They will let him hit because he's keeping the team in this game. Uh, and 3-9 is going to be a ground ball to first base. And really, who do the Rangers have on the bench that could hit? I mean, probably nobody. Dave Johnson, or Dave Nelson is the batter. 4-9, batting right. And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop X. The shortstop is a 2E39. That is a 1. I believe that's going to be a single. But we will just check it for sanity's sake. And it is a single. So, single for Dave Nelson. Uh, Stan Kovaleski, third hit allowed for him. Uh, he's a stealing double A. He's going to try to steal. And he makes it easily. So, stolen base put Dave Nelson at um, se uh, second base with one out. And the batter is Elliot Maddox, and they're going to let him hit because he's one of their better hitters. And he gets a 5-7 batting right. And that is going to be a single double asterisk and knock in the first Ranger run. So the Rangers do strike here. The stolen bait, the single by um, Nelson, and then a stolen base, and then a single double asterisk by Maddox has put them on the board and put them easily within striking distance and Toby Hara up. And he gets a 5'11", batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball to first base. And the first baseman is a 2E13. That is a 7. And that is going to be on the E13. So we're going to have to go to the air rating. And that is an 11. And 11 is a ground ball A. So that is going to be a double play, which ends the inning. A one. Um, 
a one, wait, uh, let's see, whatever, I don't know. It, all I know is it's double play and we're out of the inning. But the Rangers do get a run. And so the score is 2-1. to one. This is really incredible. I would not have guessed that the 20 Indians would be in a 2-1 game against the 1972 Rangers. Ray Chapman is the batter here in the seventh. And he gets a 5-11 batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball third base. So he's out 5-3. One down. And... Tris Speaker, the batter. Tris Speaker with a 3-9. That is going to be something. That is a single. Oh, wait a minute. That is going to be... Wait a minute. No, it isn't. 3-9. That is going to be a line out to second base. And Smokey Joe Wood is... Smokey Joe Wood gets a 5-9. Batting right. And that's going to be a strikeout. So he strikes out, and that is Paul's first strikeout of the game. But he's just happy he's holding the 1920 Indians to two runs. The uh, Rangers just have to try to sneak another one across. Toby Hara is no. Ted Ford is the batter. He gets a 1-8, and that's going to be a strikeout. And that is Kowaleski's second strikeout. Larry Bittner is up. He gets a 5-7, batting left. That is going to be a double. So now Larry Bittner is on base with the double. Two doubles today off of Kowaleski. And Kowaleski's got to be real upset that his offense couldn't get him more than two runs to this point because now he's got a, a problem. And Dick Billings is the batter. And he's going to get a 110, which is a foul out to the catcher, which is what he did back in the second inning. And there's two down. Man, 180 feet away with Levito the batter. And he gets a 1-7, which is going to be a single, but it's a one-base single. It's a mandatory one-base single running there at the corners. Which brings up Lenny Randall. And Lenny Randall gets a 6-3. He would be batting uh, right, uh, left against him. And that is going to be an out. It'll be a line out to second base. So the Rangers threaten, but they don't get any runs in the seventh. We're going to the top of the eighth here. Top of the eighth, 2-1 to one game between the 1920 Indians and the 1972 Rangers. That's crazy. And Larry Gardner is the batter. And he is going to get a 4-9 batting left. And uh, that's going to be a walk. So Larry Gardner gets aboard with a walk. And uh, that was Paul walking the man. Wombin's gas is up. He gets a 5-9 batting right. That is going to be a strikeout. That's a second strikeout for um, Mike Paul. One run on, one runner on, one out, and Johnston is the batter. Doc Johnston getting a 2-4, which is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. Yeah. Let's see. Yep. Ground ball first base C. So that moves the runner over to second. And now you got a runner at second with two down and Steve O'Neill the batter. And he gets a 3-3, three, three, which is a ground ball to uh, the first baseman. And he's out. And no runs come in. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth on a 2-1 
game. This is incredible. And, you know, with Mike Paul now coming up, I think we're going to take him out. I think it's about that time. Even though, as I say, it's unlikely that Texas really has a good hitter sitting on the bench waiting to hit. But... Um, let's see. They're going up against righty. They're going to pinch hit Hal King. So Hal King's going to be the leadoff hitter here for the Rangers in the... Um, uh, what is this? In the bottom of the eighth, right? Yeah. And he gets a 5-6... Uh, batting left, and that's going to be a fly ball to right field. And there's one down. And Dave Nelson back to the top of the lineup. Wait a minute, are we in the... I've got it as the bottom of the eighth. Right, right, okay. All right, I got a little confused there. Dave Nelson is the batter. He gets a 1-8. Um, and that's going to be a ground ball third. So he goes out 5-3. There's two down with nobody on and Elliot Maddox. Batter, and he gets a 4-10. Uh, batting right, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Their shortstop is a 1E36. That's a 19. That's probably an out, and it is. So Maddox is out. He goes out 6-3. Um, to three. Too bad because he was their best hitter. So you got to think their best chance is gone. Um, coming on in relief of, um, of Mike Paul will be Jim Schellenbach. Schellen back in 1972 was 2-4 with a 347 earned run average in 57 innings. And uh, the batter will be in the ninth here. We've got the Indians in the ninth. The batter will be Stan Kovaleski. They're going to let him hit. Uh, he was a inning of weakness as a starter nine. So, And he has basically been shutting him down. So he gets a 1-4, and that's a single. So, he gets on with a hit. And Shellen back, let me write him in. Gives up a hit. And there's nobody out with the man on first base. And back to the top of the order, Joe Evans. Joe Evans gets a 5-10 batting right. And that is going to be out. That'll be a fly ball left field. Ray Chapman is the batter. He gets a 3-3. That is going to be shelling back as a lefty. That is going to be a strikeout. Shelling back with his first K here in his first inning of work. And Tris Speaker is and he gets a 5-8 batting left, and that is going to be a walk. So, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Got it. All right, so you got two runners on with two down, and, um, and the batter is Smokey Joe Wood. And he gets a 5-6 batting right, 
and that is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. He's out, and the Indians um, got no runs in the ninth. So the, I mean, this is really crazy, but the Rangers only need one run. However, Kovaleski has really shut them down pretty well. I mean, he's only given up six hits and one earned run, and Toby Hara is the first guy that's going to face him. And he gets a 4-5 batting right, and that is going to be a ground ball third base. So he goes out 5-3. One away, and Ted Ford is up. Ted Ford gets a 3-5, and that's going to be a strikeout. That's Kovaleski's third strikeout of the game. And Larry Double Eye Bittner is their last hope to keep things alive here. He gets a 6-6 batting left, and that will be a single, and he does keep things alive. And that is the uh, seventh hit allowed by Kovaleski, and Dick Billings is the batter. And he gets a 3-9, and that's a strikeout. That was his column, too. But um, Kovaleski put him away, and that's what you got. This is a crazy final. Uh, you've got the 1920 Indians beating the 1972 Rangers by the score of only 2-1. to one. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.